Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Today you do not want to miss this video because we will be discussing the 10 dating no-nos. Uh-uh. Don't do it. Stop. Hold up. Wait a minute. Stay tuned. Alright family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Just like the title says, we will be discussing the 10 dating no-nos. So I have been tagged in the video with Nija J, which is another awesome YouTuber. So you make sure that you check her out. I will put her link at the end of the video and as well as in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started with the 10 dating no-nos. You better not do it. Stop right there. Hold up. What's going on? Why are we doing this? No. Uh. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. Number one. Family, this is a problem that most of us have. I need for y'all to stop paying more attention to your phones than you are to your dates. There is nothing that that phone is doing for you, especially if you are in the dating scene, you are trying to find your significant other, right? So your significant other that you are currently on a date with is not on that phone. Put it away. Keep it on vibrate or silent. Don't check it at the table. Engage with your date. So that phone... This thing right here, don't do it. Don't do it. Number two, do not be super rude to your waiter or waitress. This actually shows exactly who you really are. It's the little things that stand out. And if you are rude to the waiter or waitress, that's how rude you're going to be to me. That's how rude you might be to your mama. That's how rude you just are in general. You think that the world revolves around you, and it don't. Number three, some of us are just so guilty of number three, we don't want you to do this at all, which is act like you are interviewing your date. Go with the flow of things. If you guys are serious people and it starts to turn into a question and answer thing versus you're flowing with the conversation, y'all kind of talking about this, kind of talking about this, but you're throwing questions in there, but it's all kind of monotone. You know what? I had a question about this. And then you ask the question and then they answer. And then they ask you a question and then they answer and then you answer. Don't make your date so boring. You will absolutely not get that second date. Make it fun. Go with the flow. Ask a plethora of questions. You could talk about some serious stuff. You could talk about some silly stuff. You could talk about the movies that you like. You could talk about the music that you like. You could talk about a plethora of things, but do not turn it into an interview. Don't do it. Now I fall, 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 fall. <laughs> okay, number four. Do not ask anything about children. How many kids they want? How many kids they've been dreaming about? How many kids? No, 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 no. Just nothing about children. First of all, don't be asking about children because you just met this person. Y'all going out on your first date. Now, this means don't ask about children as in how many children that you want. Which brings me into number five. Make sure you tell them that you have children if you have children or her. Don't be seeming like you hiding your kids. A lot of people do this, especially with online dating. They won't even answer the question, and they got two, three, four, five kids. And then the first, second, third, fourth, fifth date that went by, you heard nothing about their children. You never heard their children in the background. Nothing about children. All of a sudden, they bringing all these children out of the woodworks. <laughs> now, I'm not even saying you got to meet their children right away. But at least let your date know, especially if the question comes up. Don't be all elusive or like kind of looking at the person like, mm. I mean, that is a natural question to ask. It's a natural question to answer. So no reason to hide your children. If the person wants to deal with you, they want to deal with you, you and your babies. And this is just a side note. If the person don't want to deal with you and your babies, that ain't your person. Move on. Your kids is your priority. This dating thing really is optional. A lot of people want it, but it really is optional. Your kids are the priority. I digress. Moving on. Number six. Do not, please absolutely do not take over the conversation and make it all about you. You just yap, 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 yappity, yap, 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 yap
can't even let the other person get a word in and you are so oblivious to the situation that you don't even notice that your date is looking off into space or texting somebody because now they didn't violate the rule they texting somebody to say please save me call me with this that emergency that I told you to call me with if I needed to get out of this date pay attention to the signs don't make it all about you shut it up listen and then start talking number seven ladies this one is for you love you but don't do it do not order the salad when you know your butt is hungry and you want that steak even if you don't want to buy the steak because you are a frugal person I'm not even knocking that however get something to show the person that you can actually eat that salad thing is no more men don't want to see you eat no salad they want to see you eat so eat don't get no salad now if salads are your thing it's your thing salad is not your thing don't be going out there trying to get no salad just for the sake of this night because you know what time is going to continue on this night is going to end right the real you is going to creep out just get some food i beg of you eat number eight do not focus too much on what you do as in your job as in your career just do not do it that just gets so boring we don't care what you do I know a lot of us ask that question it's mainly because the question is just so obvious if you could get all away from what you do for a living the better it keeps a mystery going right do the twist do the twist I'm just saying <laughs> Don't talk about work, your job, too much. Keep it fun. Keep it light. Y'all just meeting. You don't need to worry about in the back of your head the dollar signs that should be in the bank account. Could or could not be. Depends. Moving on. Man, don't give away so much information about how you used to abuse, how you used to be abused, how you, all, every man you get would cheat on you, how maybe you're a cheater. I mean, just, just calm down. Don't give away so much information right away. Leave some mystery to yourself. Leave some mystery to yourself. You get it? Keep it light. Keep it fun. Ask some serious questions, but don't make the entire date about giving away all of your information. How your mama been treating you. How your head of guts. How the kids been going ham. How all, I, and you just got a list of long drawn out even boring things to the person that's taking it in don't do it don't do it wah, wah, wah. <laughs> anywho right fellas ladies number 10 the most important if you don't get nothing out of this take number 10 in which is do not come here come on come on come on come on come on do not go to his place when he recommends how he just does not want the day to end and he want to cuddle up with you. Fellas, do not go to her place when she said, oh, just come up for a nightcap. See, here's the reason why. Because you and her are obviously, or at least most of the time, we're looking for long-term relationships. And... When you take it upon yourself to go into that person's place after the first time meeting, more than likely, sex is going to occur. And unfortunately, now my sisters, come on, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. My sisters, I've seen it too many times. I've talked to too many brothers. And even though they're not even necessarily doing it on a conscious level, after you part them legs, Guess what? All of that calling, texting, interest that he was showing now has gone down the tube. And you wonder why he has disappeared. You are no longer a challenge to him. 
And I, and again, men, I'm saying, sometimes y'all don't even do this on a conscious level. I've talked to so many men that they do this all the time. They're really into the girl, really into the girl before sex. Right after having sex with them, for some reason, they're no longer interested in the woman any longer. And they don't even notice that it all because the chase is over with. Keep these things in mind, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking for a long-term relationship, don't be doing any of these crazy things out on your date. I will have to repeat number one again. Put down that cell phone. Engage with the person that's sitting right in front of you. You will notice a big difference in the way that your dates are turning out. And you'll be able to ask more engaging questions and get more engaging answers. And y'all going back and forth. And before you know it, the time is passing. You had a wonderful time. Save the going back to the place for another date. Now, if you like this video, you make sure that you give me a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, you make sure that you go ahead and do that. Again, I will link Niger J channel right here. And I will put it down in the description box below. I would love to hear what you guys do. What dating no-nos would you recommend? I love to read your comments. I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.